Hello everyone. I got to the Bull Region player on boards a few days ago, but I didn't make a live stream about it then, uh, so I thought I'd just do it now. And um, yeah, so I just got three ships back in, and I'm actually going to check how much they, uh, how much distance they each had because I've been interested in that. I believe the RS Wiki page says that each voyage here should give 4.8k distance, but I just wanted to double check it. So let's see here. I've also been failing a ton of missions in this area, which is really annoying. So, uh, let's see. That one was 89404, and uh, this one is... Okay, so that is roughly 2 point... or roughly 2k, I think. That's quite a bit lower than I expected. Um, okay, well, let's see. That one was 91.3, so let's see what this is. Oh right, this is missionary one, so it'll be a cutscene. Hmm. Ah, okay, well, I don't know, the storylines aren't as, in as interesting as they used to be, I think, but... Yeah. Anyway, let's see how much distance that one was. Whoa. Okay. I pressed escape there and it closed. Okay, so the story voyages are no distance, and I had heard that before, so that makes sense. Or actually, let me join the friends chat in case anyone wants to chat in there. And then one final voyage. Oh, yeah, another story one, so it'll be no distance as well. Okay. Well, at least all my voyages worked. Okay. Okay, well, now I'll just have to choose a few more voyages. Yeah, these voyages in the Bull region take about seven hours at minimum, so I've actually been running... I've had too many voyages per day. Uh, I, I should really be doing more of the scythe ones to make up for it, but I don't feel like losing sleep over it um, and waking up early and all that, so... Oh well. Um, okay, so I've got to do one with morale, so switch out a bunch of these guys for morale guys. I should really buy another merchant, that would be quite helpful, but I keep re-rolling. Actually, maybe I have some re-rolls today, let me see about that. Uh, yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, I'm not paying for a jade mer merchant quite yet. I still need a whole lot of jade. Actually, let me buy someone with a jade. Well, I've, yeah, I've got enough now, so... Uh, I t when I'm switching out people for higher level ones, I just go for whoever's the lowest level, whoever ha or whoever has the lowest stats. So this is my, well, let's say I have two level six guys, but I'll get rid of that one. I want to get three or four of all of the Jade combat, or yeah, all th these guys, Sea Dog, Far Cry, and Bounty Hunter. I want to get three of each of them, and then I will go and start saving up for the final ship. I just, I have too low of a chance of success on my missions now, so I've got to save up a bit. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so I've got to send out a few missions. Let's see what we've got here. So I've got morale. I'm going to hold off on doing these ones because they take seven hours and I want to be able to do more of these uh, quicker ones while I have extra voyages. But let's see, let's get some morale voyage going. Um, okay. Well, 
if the ship is all decked out with... Oh no, it's not. There we go. I was worried that the percentage was so low, but that's okay. 90%, 89%, that's not bad. So I'll send that one out. And next we have... What, have, what new voyage did we get? Oh good, another 301 round combat. We can do that. So now since I sent out most of my morale guys before, I'm going to want to set all of these onto morale. And uh, let's see, I'll send this one to combat. Yeah, I don't know, player imports is okay. My main problem with it is it's exactly the same at all levels, pretty much. Like, there's no change between this and the uh, <laughs> the first day that we started. It's just different characters having higher stats and different voyages having higher requirements and taking longer. It's just completely scaled, so there's no real change between any of the between any of it. So yeah, that's not my favorite, but it's okay. Yeah, I'm sure I'm going to like it when we get to the final region and I have all the upgrades there and I can just do that. And uh yeah, that'll be nice. Just send out like one or two voyages at well four ships a day or something like that and have like 15 hour voyages and not have to worry about it at all but having to manage it like this is a bother uh, one problem with doing ports is that the um or one thing to keep in mind is to make sure that you get it as even as possible because that one was like what was it 100% and 80% perc 80 something percent but having them as close together as possible is ideal so getting them both to 94% there is pretty much perfect um, okay now let's send that one out and one more voyage ooh nice a 500 one that's really good but it's morale and combat. I, I'm not sure that I'll be able to get a good percent on that because I just sent out a uh, a ship with the same thing, so I used all of my best guys on that, really. But yeah, the 500 supply voyages are really great because if you use a merchant, that's plus 25%, and then if you use the fortune of the sea, that's plus 100%. So it's a... Or, sorry, not 100, that would be ridiculous. Plus 10%. So it's it's really good. Yeah. Um hmm. yeah, this isn't the best percentage. Let's see what else I can do. I I'm gonna send out a void or a, a voyage to uh to these ones because otherwise I'm not going to get a good percent at all. Yeah, and when I got to the region here, or in general actually, I've been focusing a lot on the speed of my v vessels and uh, voyages, because otherwise, instead of taking like 7 hours, it could take 9 to 10 hours. So the first thing I upgraded in the hook, or in the, uh, what's it called, the bowl region here, was the, the rudder, and that's been really helpful. Having just the plus 200 speed from the skeletal rudder, it saves about 45 minutes per voyage, I mean, it caps out at seven hours here, but um, yeah, that's definitely something to think about when you're getting to a new region. Rather than having a bit higher percent of success per voyage, it may be worthwhile if you go and uh, and upgrade your rudder. Also, with the captains, I've been choosing more speed captains than normal. A lot of people don't really like the speed captains, but I think it's better to upgrade or uh, to have a captain that has speed as its primary attribute rather than having to uh having to bring one of those speed specific guys like the uh the fireworks enthusiasts and those because that's a huge waste to have a single uh crew slot taken up by one of those um card and w i haven't really been looking at the ports bug abuse i i don't know i haven't really been reading the high level forum uh, let's see here. MDP LTR. Uh, the programming video will probably be within a day or two. 
I, um, yeah, I've got it all pretty much written out. It's surprisingly time-consuming to write out stuff to uh, talk about in a programming video because I don't know what level a lot of people are at and no doubt it's spread out along all different experience levels so when I'm talking about certain things in programming like even data types for those of you who have any programming experience it's hard but well, it's not hard but it's just there's a lot to explain when I'm talking about uh, how I'm doing the program if I talk about uh, making a number go to another number but to a layman it's exactly the same it's an integer to a double but if you don't know what an integer and double is it just looks like one number to another number with no reason so I have to explain data types and I have to explain uh, some other things which make it take a lot longer but I do have a whole lot written out for it and I'm hoping it'll come out nicely when I get around to fish finishing it um, and yeah, 82% for this isn't bad. So I'm going to send that out. Uh, no, wait, let's see. Yeah, okay, I'm going to send that out. MePVMRS asks, what does the Fortune of the Sea do? And it's an effect that you can use on the ship in the add effects here. And it gives 10% reward or penalties when you're finishing a voyage so I'm not I, I mean the 10% reward is obvious although it is worth noting that it stacks multiplicatively with the uh, with the merchant rather than additively as a lot of things in RS stack and I believe the penalties is just when you fail a voyage it makes your ship repairs cost more but I don't actually know for sure on that um, it wouldn't really make sense to have plus 10% or negative 10% when completing a voyage because then it would be useless. Um, actually, I don't know. Yeah, that's a good question. I'm pretty sure it gives 10% when you complete a voyage and 10% uh, onto the repair cost when you fail one. Um, Mr. Galoo, the quickest way to level up the hard people in Temple Trekking is to do the easy paths and just go through them as quick as possible. Skippo asks how many storylines are there in total for the trim completion escape requirement and I believe it's around 40 although I'm not completely sure so yeah sorry I'm, I'm more worried about just finishing regions and doing that because these story voyages stay on the same difficulty is uh, no matter what region you're in so like if you're in the pincers region and you still have story uh, voyages from the bowl region they'll still be the bowl difficulty and the same speed is at the bowl so there's no reason to rush doing story missions um, although if you have story missions completed it gives a higher chance I believe of getting trade good missions so for example if you do the um, if you do what is it um, Sorry, I, I read the chat for a second. I completely forgot what I was going to say. Uh, but if you do the assassins missions, for example, and you do her story, uh, her storyline mission, then if you get her again as your daily adventure, I believe she has to give you some trade good or resource story mission, which is uh, yeah, that's really good. Oh yeah, captain's log. Let's see. Um. Okay. Oh yeah, I got the captain rank. That's new. Those I just finished those two story uh, missions today, and that put me over into the captain rank. I don't know. I haven't really been no lifing ports. There are definitely people who are a lot ahead of me, but that's fine. I'm not in any huge rush. Um, yeah, there are six uh, regions with six storylines per person so minimum of 36 but there are also probably some joint storylines um and uh, yeah and also probably some special ones at the end so at least 36 i've just put that in as a minimum um rs leo there have been a lot of people actually who have been saying that they haven't had any randoms and the first thing to check is to make sure that you don't have a random already saved up because you can't get more if you already have them. So the random events, I mean, 
uh, it could also just be a bug that you're not getting them. But the random events, there's one here, uh, the barmaid and also the black market trader. And if they have on the minimap a yellow circle thing around them, then just talk to them and you'll be able to do the random and then you'll be able to keep getting more. Um, yeah, yeah um, Rylan Bra, I think there's a little, um, a little audio issue with my mic and it makes some weird high pitch noise. Um, yeah. Big Janoob, it's plus, it's actually plus uh, 20 port score per story mission, it's plus 5 port score per 1k, or per 5k, what did, uh, I don't know, anyway, I know that it's plus 20 per story mission. Um, let's see, so I'm just reading through some of the comments. Naya Celio, it's not possible to have legitly reached the last region. Um, I think a few people have done it using bugs, but yeah, it's definitely not possible right now. Mr. Erupas, uh, can you explain what these rumors are about Wooks cheating? And uh, Wooks was the first person in the bull region, and he beat the well, at least according to the thread in the high-level forum where people post their progress, he was the first of the bull region by about 20% ahead of other people, which is about two days ahead, and a lot of people accused him of bug abuse for it, and personally, I don't think he did bug abuse, and he has said that he's going to, he has this drop box where he shows his progress to the next region, he logs all of his voyages, um, so... Yeah, I don't think he bug abused, and uh, he's just showing his current progress now, so he definitely won't. And yeah, Flash Bomb, it is a little bit odd that they've reused the icons for the people. I was quite confused when I, uh, when I was looking on the high-level forum and I saw a thread, and it looked like people had these low-level crew members, but no, they just reused what they look like. Um, okay, let's see. Minotaur asks if I still want to work for Jagex, and I still think it could be quite cool. I'm not completely sold on it, but yeah, it could be fun. Um, yeah, I don't know, I, I don't really have anything else to say. I just had a, wanted to do a quick stream showing the bowl region. I think it took, I think, what was it, about a little bit over two weeks to get here. And the next region is going to take significantly longer. Um, I'm only at 5% and I've been here for two days or something. I have failed a ton of missions, though. It, uh, I had such bad luck. I had like 70 to 80% success rates on all of my missions, and I failed like half of them, at least. And uh, the banana is because I have a monkey familiar that I'm growing. For those of you who have seen the last port little live streams, I've been growing all these little familiars. Um, yeah, so that's fine. And uh, Pepsi's asks, to get the Tetsu armor, isn't it all about getting plates? And um, yes, that's true, although higher regions will allow you to get many more uh, plates per voyage, so it's probably best to focus on just getting to higher mission or uh, to higher areas before um, before getting trade goods. I know that um, when I'm or I'm pretty sure that the pincers region is supposed to give eight trade goods per voyage, and if you use the fortune of the sea in addition to the uh, to the best merchant, and then uh, you also use the buildings, what is it, the um, the totems I think it is, or the, yeah, the totems that give extra uh, trade goods per thing, you'll probably get like 13 or 14 trade goods per mission, so if you get to that stage that will be significantly, significantly better than trying to do trade missions at lower areas. 
Flash bomb. I haven't noticed any resource gains from partially completed voyages, but I haven't been keeping a very close eye on it, to be honest. I should definitely. And I did hear about the construction bug. It's a bit ridiculous that people abuse that. It was, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to head off. Um. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I guess see you when I get to the next region, which won't be for quite a while, but yeah, that's okay. Um. Big J Noob, I personally haven't filled any voyages with 100% success rate, but I have heard that other people have. I don't know if it's possible or not. It seems odd. Um. Cardin, yes, the lifeboat permanently c protects all crew members on that ship. And Game Rebel, that's um, that's good to know. Game Rebel says that for the Cal Viking, the wings change color according to attack style. Yeah, Flash Bomb, I'm not exactly sure what that means. Um, I do have a couple captains for the opportunist uh, trait, but I, I'm not quite sure. Because you're not supposed to get any... I, I, I think it actually might mean... Um, I've heard that when you partially succeed on a mission it means that you get more of the distance traveled I've heard that sometimes when you fail a mission you don't get any distance traveled and sometimes you get the full distance and sometimes you get half but if you have an opportunist captain maybe that means that you're more likely to get the full distance Pinhead Larry the only scream trial that I've heard about at all is the mining one the one to mine extra gems which is going for 10 mil or so um, yeah Donza, I'm a bit annoyed that they keep making these posts about high-level gear and saying that people should buy it, pretty much, um, rather than just coming out with the update. It doesn't make any sense to me, but anyway, I don't really know what to say about that. Martinil, when you finish the Wind's Home mission, it is an unlock for the Sea Witch. The Judge of Dice is unlocked in the, um, in the Bull region. The they're oddly labeled. They're incorrectly labeled, but yeah. Yeah. Um Adam C wants me to talk briefly about speed, what speed items work, etc. Um What speed items work? Um well the only speed items in player and ports are the bags of bags of wind or bag of winds. And, um, yeah, they work just like any other of the uh, plus 10% things. Uh, what I do for speed, though, is I mostly actually have captains that give a lot of speed, so um, that way I don't have to have a specific crew member to give extra speed. So, uh, like this captain here, his primary attribute is speed, and it's at 850, and that allows me to max out the speed on the voyage and get it down to seven hours. Kebab194 asks how long till I get my trim back, and I at minimum have to get into the pincers region, but I also have to do all of these story missions, and that's going to take quite a while. It's going to be probably a month or so at least. I don't really know, it's hard to tell. Time to max. I'm not planning on any bossing masses. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I've only got till well actually I've got till Sunday till I go back to school, so I do have time so that I can do one. But yeah, I don't know. My internet. Uh, how does the is like is this stream laggy at all or anything? Because my internet was really bad for a uh, well pretty much two weeks, <laughs> um, but now it seems good, and I'm not sure what caused it. It's yeah, it's strange. Okay, yeah, well, I don't know, I might do a stream. If the quality like this is good, then there's no reason not to. I was hesitant before because I was having some really bad lag issues, and yeah, it was really a pain. Um, 
my port score is at 1220 and uh rylan you shouldn't it shouldn't take that long to get the agility rocks dead out then so nice little stream here thanks for watching everyone and i'll see you when i get into the pincers region well i'll see you before then but i'll see you in the next port stream when i get into the